Okay, how are we going to debug this program? Well, the first thing to do is take a quick look at the program. We've got some imports up here that look all right, some instantiation setting up some variables, which looks fine. There's a subroutine there which wouldn't run straight away and a while true loop there. Okay, so I'm going to put a breakpoint on the if for menu one. I'm gonna put a breakpoint as well Let's start here, because I think the first problem, that I think there might be a problem here in the way the menu's working, because when I run the program, whatever I type in, it just exits. So to me, it sounds like there's a problem with the menu command. So let's see if we can use the debugger to work out what's wrong there. So I'm running it. It's prompting me for uh, which option, and I'll type in one. So it should pick up one here. So ah, I can see straight away what the problem is. You can see that menu variable is one, but it's a string. And in my if statements, I'm looking for a literal number. So there's two ways to fix that. I can put int in front of this and cast it as an int, or I could have put the values in quotation marks. If I stop that now and run it, prompts me again, I put in one, and you can see that my variable is an int. Brilliant. So I can just carry on with my program there. Let's see what else is wrong with it. Well, I'm going to guess the program this time. Okay, let's pick 50, bang in the middle, too low. Let's pick 75, too high. 85, too high. 95, too high. I'm going the wrong direction, aren't I? Oh, right, okay. Let's start with 50 again. Too, wait, wait, wait a minute. It said 50 was too low earlier. So 50 is too low. Let's go to 75. Now that's that's wrong because earlier on it said 75 was too high and now it's saying 75 is too low. So something weird is going on with the number, I'd say. So let's put a breakpoint by the number and let's see what happens as we go through the code. I'm going to run the game. Let's clear that a minute just so we can start again and see what's going on. Let's run the game. Play the game. Okay, and I've paused here at number. Okay, well, I'm going to go one line at a time now. In fact, I'm just going to run through that bit. So we're going to go there. Okay, so number set as 56. So if I continue to break point now, I'm going to try 57, which should say too high. Well, we know that works. Okay, so our guess is 57, our number is 56. Let's go on one line at a time and see what happens. Uh, what? Did you notice that as well? number has changed to 36. What's happening here then? Well, ah, I can see what's happening. I've managed to put number inside the while loop. So what's actually happening is that every time we loop in the game, number gets reset. So let's pull that out and let's put that before the while loop. Okay, let's pause it there again. We'll put a breakpoint there and run the program to the breakpoint. Okay, we'll go into the game, move forward. So our number is 55. If I guess 56, it should say too high. If I say 54, it should say too low. And if I say 55, and there we go, we've managed to pick the correct value there. Six attempts and the program is actually working, which is pretty cool. So you can see just how effective that debugger is for solving problems. Thank you.